What's up guys, this is another Dreams official tutorial recording. This episode is about basics of animations, all about the action and possession recorders. So when you want to record Here movement at the, the pistons and bolts, you want to do it, this is the way to do it. Dreams. Connie wants us to make these platforms move, so she can get to the exit. No need to go into play mode to see that Connie won't be able to make this jump. So how about we add a little handmade animation to get us there? We can do that using the Action Recorder. Action Recorders are super easy to use. Stamp one in your scene and it'll record anything you move with the imp. And we mean anything. It'll even record you moving or tweaking gadgets. Let's go. Connie's excited to see what we can do. Now go to the Assembly menu. If it's closed, press Square to open it. The Animate menu has a clapperboard icon, so open that up. Choose the Action Recorder, the icon with Film and a plus sign on it. You'll now have an Action Recorder gadget on your imp. Stamp it down somewhere near the floating ledge. A progress bar will appear at the top of the screen, along with a record button on the right. Your imp will turn into a red dot. This means you're ready to start recording. Don't worry, nothing will record until you start moving or changing things. When you're ready, grab the floating ledge above Connie with R2. Move it slowly to her using the motion sensor function or the sticks. You'll notice the bar starts filling up, recording your every move. Don't worry, it's not a time limit. The bar fills in as a visual indicator of something being recorded, so take your time. Let go of R2 and the recording will pause. If you want to move your view or use the grab cam, it won't be recorded. If you record while the scene is playing, idle time will also be captured by the action recorder. That's why it's important to rewind or pause your scene before recording anything. That way your action recorder only contains what you put in it. When you're finished recording, select the Stop Recording button in the context menu, or use the shortcut L1 and Circle to exit the action recorder. Your imp will return back to normal to show that you're no longer recording. Click R3 to play back your animation. Handmade animations are always a bit wobbly, but practice makes perfect. Calibrating your imp can help when using the motion sensor function. Just hold your controller in a comfortable position, then hold the options button for a few seconds. In the next step, I'll show you how to edit a recorded animation. Anything you record is stored by the Action Recorder gadget. If you hover over the floating ledge, the Action Recorder gadget will pulse. Select the Action Recorder with X, and dashed lines will appear on the objects it's animating. It will also show the animation path. That's this dashed line. If you're not happy with your animation, redoing it is easy. First, rewind the scene with L3. Then hover over the Action Recorder gadget, hold L1, then press X. Now we can start recording again. Select the Retake button in the context menu to wipe the old animation. Now you can perform a new animation. Move the platform so it stops in front of Connie. You can undo actions you perform using the left button, but it won't undo the time that has passed. So it's better to use the Retake button to undo animations. Move the floating ledge from the upper platform down to Connie. Don't worry if the animation's too slow or too fast, we can fix that later. Make sure you press the stop recording button when you're done. Spend a little time practicing with the action recorder. In the next step, I'll show you how to tweak your animation. Another way to edit animations is by tweaking them. Hold L1, and press square over the action recorder gadget to open its tweak menu. 
Here you can see all the tweaks for the action recorder. By default, the playback mode is set to loop, so it plays the animation over and over again. But you can set them to play once, sustain, or to ping pong. Once will play the whole animation only one time. Sustain will play the animation as long as the action recorder has power. If it loses power, it will stop. Then it will continue from that point when it's powered again. Ping pong plays the animation forward once and then plays it back in reverse, then forward, then backwards, and so on and so forth. That sounds like a good option for our floating ledge. Select ping pong with X. Click R3 to play the scene and the animation. You can also change the animation speed to make it slower or faster. Grab the slider with X and use your imp to change the speed. If you want to explore more of the action recorder tweaks, you can. If you hover over any button for a few seconds, a more info tip will explain what that tweak does. To close the tweak menu, just hold L1 and press circle anywhere over it. And of course you can undo any changes you make by pressing the left directional button. Switch to play mode to test your changes. When you're ready, come back to edit mode and start the next step. Now that Connie's made it up to the higher platform, how will she get back down to the next one? Rewind the scene with L3. You probably already know about cloning objects, but do you know you can clone their animations along with them? I'm sure you remember how to clone, but if not, just hold L1 and grab the animated ledge with R2. Once you've made the clone, release L1. Then move the ledge to the other side of the platform and release R2 to place it. Not only did you clone the ledge, but you also cloned its animation. Click R3 to play the scene. Now we just need to flip it so it moves in the correct direction. First, make sure you rewind your scene. Grab the platform with R2. Then click L3 to flip it horizontally. Depending on where you grabbed it from, you might have to move it closer to the other platform after flipping. Release R2 to put it back down. Now click R3 and the platform should move in opposite directions. Both animations are stored to the same action recorder. So if you retake or delete the action recorder, it will affect both animations. Now go into play mode and see if Connie can make it across both gaps. Now let's get Connie to Cuthbert and through the door before Cuthbert gets lonely. There's a shiny helper cube holding up the next platform, but he's not very animated at the moment. To get him to walk back and forth towards the exit, we need to use Record Possession. It allows you to possess puppets and record a performance with them. Go to the Assembly menu, then the Animate menu. Select Record Possession. It's the one with the sock puppet icon. Your imp can now possess the puppets in the scene. In the Context menu, you'll see the Count In button. When this is selected, you'll get a three second count in before recording starts. Press R2 over the helper cube to possess the puppet and start the countdown. When the count reaches zero, the possession recorder begins recording. Unlike the action recorder, it records constantly. So time will be recorded even when the cube isn't moving. Walk the helper cube around the obstacles. Pause for a moment, turn around, then walk back to where the helper cube started. Starting and ending at the same place will make the animation loop smoothly. Press circle to depossess. You'll notice the recording pauses when you depossess. 
select Stop Recording in the Context menu to exit Record Possession. Once you've stopped recording, click L3 to rewind the scene, then R3 to play it back. In the last step, I'll show you how to edit the recorded possession. a possession recorder gadget has appeared next to the helper cube. This gadget appears the moment you press the stop recording button when using record possession. Select it with X to see the animation path. The possession recorder gadget also lets you edit and tweak the animation. Hold L1 and press X over the possession recorder to edit it. Just like the action recorder, you can choose to retake the animation by selecting the button in the context menu. To stop editing the possession recorder, select Stop Recording in the context menu, or hold L1 and press Circle to quickly scope out. You can also tweak the possession recorder with L1 and Square. It has exactly the same options as the action recorder. Experiment with the recorder and the different tweaks. Remember you can see more info about the tweak option by hovering over them for a few seconds. Close the tweak menu by pressing L1 and circle anywhere over it. Once you're done editing, switch over to play mode to test out the completed scene. Then Connie can navigate to the last platform and exit through the door to complete the tutorial.